after the hula is in the Andy. Yeah, and we have they are we featuring the electricity mod. So electricity mod is gone, yes. It's just basically the one electricity for like you don't want to have something cool for your furniture like lights, furnace, etc. Yeah. So the basic spot for every XL around here is the cable. The cable is well, it's what connects a, every kind of electricity part that you need to print to have. Like you don't have cables, then no, there's no electricity to connect. So you will need a copper plate and any solid half. I'm just placing copper here because it's just basically the cheapest material for you to make. So I just put all the you know cheapest material is possible. The next thing is. A switch. So what is this? Just name it says uh, the one. If you are not using your power at the moment, or, and you want to turn it off, you can use a switch to cut the power, so it just don't consume any energy that you need to, to divert to other other electric items. So so next thing we're gonna have here is a motor and a generator. A motor. Okay, so uh, spend generators. The generator is basically is used in the wind, the wind energy, which is the only energy we had, converts it into electricity and to power up all the electric components that you need, like the lights up or to heat in the heat oven up, things like that. And for the motors, well, it's basically opposite. It turns from electric power to mechanical power. For example, you have a current and you don't have much of mechanical, you can use this motor to turn that electricity to to motor generator. It's based on that, and I would say this is a very expensive, so it's more being a late game gun mid to late content, so I don't recommend doing this early on. So you will need a hammer, a chisel, actually any cup hammer, any chisel, any saw you want, an iron blade, any kinds of... Wait, oh, oops, this is... wait, I think... oh yeah, actually it's a lot, my apologies. Yeah, you you need a lot, not a blank, my apologies. And take it to cables. And for a generator, you just can just use the motor to crap a generator and vice versa. You can you can crap a motor instead of this, you can use the printer to crap a bike. And the accumulator is basically if you want to store your electricity in case you don't have this is any wind to produce any electric, you can use a accumulator to not only storage your electricity but will also increasing what it okay so basically what it does is that not only would it contain all the energy that you that they should produce but you also can use the energy that is stored and accumulated to power all those machines when there's no wind power as at a maximum capacity that's what it does so, so we have two things here an electric lamp and a small lamp it so uh, each this thing is just light, lighting component, nothing very much special. Besides the electric lamp, we will have a quad. Use less power, but also provide less light, light power. And you will need a, a glass, and you saw you have 16 cables and of course an iron plate. And as for an electric lamp, you just need to use an electric lamp and use a cup, and you saw you have. Simple thing. So the last two parts we have here is an electric forge and electric heater. So electric forge is like a forge, but instead of using you have to extensive amount of coal, you should heat up a, a lot of metal. And trust me, it's extremely expensive if, if you don't have much any of, many of them lying around. So you can use electric power to. Push up, but again, this 
this thing is extremely depends on the edge of the so I'm recommending an accumulator instead. So you need a forge, and so you have 16 gable of gold and iron plate. Yeah, this thing, a lot of things, they are hungry for iron, so yeah. And of course for the heater, it is what it is. It heats up your body, especially extremely useful during the winter month. In the winter days when you need something to heat yourself up without having to you know, burn a lot of things up again. The glue and plate is 16 cables, so I'll take all so I will take all this guy here for some demonstration. Oops. moment so of course all the thing you need first is of course a window so I'm just going to build a window quick and I'll seems like it seems like yeah, it's getting nice so I would set time is quick so, yeah. so yeah let's just get the window uh, yeah, okay. We have uh, like three blocks uh, that stick up to any pause required. Yes, so I'm um, take this. You will need, of course, with an axe, so you to a scale, windmill rotor, and a bunch of more. Yeah. You need four, so okay. Okay, so the winner, the winner just place all the axle down and turn on gears, and okay, here we go. Okay, so first thing first, you as usual, you need a generator. This is right in, let's turn. Yeah, I will take all this electric compartment that I'm gonna need later. Here we go. So first thing, so so in the sample I will lighting inside. Look at that. So electric lamp, there is something that that you need to take into consideration. There is the consumption, the amount of electricity. So. Well, light, the, the power of that is actually depends on the amount of electricity this thing has. Such, the 100% bar is when you have consumption, and with that, down there is three sides production, consumption, and overflow. Production is the amount of energy this thing can produce, depends on the wind, of course. And the consumption is the amount maximum then, and finally the overflow, the excess energy that it has. And it, if you don't, and, and yes, it's, and this it's only 34, it's kind of smaller, but also produce less power. So if you don't want to use this, uh, when you use the lamina one, you can use switch, yeah. Some, for some reason, this thing just doesn't work. Okay. So this thing just turns itself off and it just focuses all the ass on here. So I'll just connect the cable here, here, and here. This is the accumulator. It's basically installs any kind of energy that you need to do. So, so as I said, if you don't have any wind powers when you need them, you can, you know, before that happens, you can is install any, all kinds of energy mostly on the accumulator. I recommend you two or three of them because any of them runs out. You don't need a lot of power during the winter months when it doesn't have wind. Something that I don't want to. And this thing is piloting this up. Oh, very nicely done. That's so, so. seven. Now we can put that at. That this thing is off. Then the next part is, of course, is of course the motor. So, so the motor, as I explained, you can turn electric power to mechanical power. So I'll take the axle, get some 
some code in here of this size so this allow this this wooden part here to connect to line and so with that I know of course you can need here wait let me just take this thing downward actually you need to connect this thing extremely above it so yeah that's it This and of course, what happens here that this thing doesn't have enough power. You need like forty-five, otherwise this thing will spin. So because this is depending extremely a lot on the generator, so I'm just cut the power in here and transfer the wire from this thing. So because the generator will always give you the maximum output that you need on anything, and voila, it will consume a hundred percent. And look at this, it's quite extremely quick. And boom, irony has price flat. And that is how it works. But do remember that because of this, this since this one consumes 100 percent so you will lose this on a matter of seconds, so I wouldn't recommend that. So the next thing I'm talking about is the energy forge. The energy forge, of course, is like say, a forge, and you can heat up anything that you need to do it however do you rem remember that the temperature it depends on the power the generator can produce so it can be a max to 1100 degree celsius so you can not any metal you want for example let's say copper ingot here Take it for them and we just pull it down here. And as you see, it below the temperature is rising up, upwards very nicely. And this thing is already heating up very nice. So, yeah, that's so that's electric forge. And finally, we have the electric heater, which of course, as it presents itself, the heater of its own. So, I'm just Cut the power on here so it focus on the heater and this is what it does. Of course, you're gonna need you know, most effective winter, so I wouldn't recommend building this much. And that's basically that's it. That is the review of the finished story electric model. Well, the link is in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the in next time. Goodbye.